Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And food is all about flavor. As the saying goes, you love flavor first before you love food. And the primary goal of my fast cooking system is flavor chasing. Advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking are the attributes in the service of flavor chasing. Because you will only continue to cook if you can cook food with the flavor that you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to show you a chow mein dish that I love. Uh, I cook this dish regularly because I love its flavor. And when I combine advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking, uh, this dish is not that difficult to make. And let's start out with something that I always have in the refrigerator, that is spaghetti noodles that have already been boiled. I usually boil two pounds of spaghetti noodles in the wok, and I store them in plastic containers. Of course, I use these noodles for regular spaghettis, but I am also use it for other purposes, such as in making this chow mein. And this is the power of advanced prepping and template-based cooking allow you to use the same ingredients for different dishes. This dish is very simple. The only other thing that I need to make this dish flavorful is some chives. Uh, when you combine all this together, this is what makes home cooking uh, wonderful because you can make the things exactly the flavor that you enjoy. The reason that stir-frying is the method of choice in my fast cooking system is because when stir-frying in a competent hand is probably the most effective and efficient cooking method. Stir-frying is not only fast, but it allows a person to be able to cook multiple ingredients at the same time to draw out their best flavor. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the wok to stir-fry some noodles to create a unique crispy texture. Uh, this causes the noodle to be brown and slightly crispy. It greatly enhances the natural flavor of the noodles. Uh, using this method it allows you to uh, transform a regular spaghetti noodle to an entirely different form. Uh, this greatly enhances your repertoire in using the same noodles. Uh, I'm using my Cuisina 14-inch stainless steel wok uh, to cook these noodles. Uh, I use my spot seasoning method to create a non-stick cooking surface in the wok. If you are not familiar with this technique, you can take a look at this video. Uh, however, in order to prevent the noodles from sticking and burning to the surface of the wok, uh, you also need to follow this procedure. Uh, the cooked noodle should be stored in the refrigerator for at least 48 hours before you are using it to make this dish. Uh, this will allow the noodle to be brown in the wok rather than stick to the bottom of the wok and become burned. Uh, the other important consideration is that make sure you add enough oil. Uh, you can always add a little bit more oil if it looks like it's getting too dry. It is also very important to carefully monitor the temperature of the wok. Uh, if things start to get burned, uh, make sure you turn down the heat. Uh, by following these steps, uh, you are able to brown the noodles. And by constantly uh, moving the noodles, uh, you can brown the noodle thoroughly. Uh, how long you're going to proceed with this step would depend on how brown you want the noodles to be. As you can see here, uh, the noodles do not stick to the bottom of the wok at all. Uh, by now the noodles has reached uh, the texture that I am looking for. Uh, next, I'm going to season the noodles. I'm going to start out with the fermented black soybean. Uh, this is followed by a combination of a small amount of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. Uh, this is a flavor combination that my family really enjoy. And my wife really like fermented black soybean. Uh, if you love chive, you will really enjoy this dish. And chive has great aroma. It is a combination of the texture and the flavor of the chai to make this dish really special. Uh, to me, it is important not to overcook the chives. As you can see here, I used a pair of long handle tongs to mix the chives with the noodles. 
And these chives come from my friend's garden, and for this reason, it makes this dish even more special. I cook this dish because of the flavor that I am looking for. It is the combination of the texture of the pasta noodles and the chive make this dish particularly flavorful. As you can see, the, this dish is basically a basic template of、uh, pan frying the noodles. It is to create a crispy texture that I am looking for.、And、with this template,、uh, you can see different variations by substituting the chives with other ingredients. And in the past, I find scallions does a very good job.、Uh, I cook this、uh, noodle dish probably about once a week. As stir frying the noodle is a little bit more labor intensive and takes more time, but because I love the flavor and the texture of the noodle, I am always very happy to do this. And because of、uh, advanced prepping as well as、uh, template based cooking, it allows me to cook this dish any time I want and in different versions. So ultimately, the reason I cook every day is because I'm able to find the flavor that I love. By knowing what I put into my food,、uh, it is easy for me to cook meals that are healthy for me. So again, in my fast cooking system, flavor chasing without any question is the primary reason for the cooking system. If you find this video helpful and informative, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a new video each day to help people to develop a better understanding as well as、uh, to adopt my fast cooking system. I thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.